Hi guys, you are enjoying the day? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> really good, we love it. We want all the car thing. Scary. Embarrassing, this is... I've never laughed so much in my life. <laughs> well, that's all we wanted. and welcome to the Warwick Summer Party 2012. I'm Abby McCarthy. And I'm Gianluca Fresti. And today we are blessed with a plethora of fantastic acts that will be on stage here at Warwick University with the likes of Stushi, the incomparable Noah and the Whale, and of course a blast from the past from Miss Dynamite. We're here on behalf of Warwick TV and we're going to be bringing you exclusive behind the scenes footage of all the bands. You better get excited about the interviews because we definitely are. And of course, enjoy your day. What about the cocktail tent here behind me? How's that been? Oh. Cocktail tent is wicked. They, they've got three pound cocktails. They, yeah, it's great. Are you going to go get some drinks in soon? Deal. It's genuinely very, very tasty. It's our extra for Warwick Summer Party 2012, guys. No, I'm, yeah! Ah! Ah! Party atmosphere. Definitely, definitely. Wake up early in the morning <laughs> to play my bon bon bongo. You've got so much, you've got the sun, you've got the mud, you've got the rain, it's everything you think a festival would be like. And it's everything I've experienced. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> of a festival atmosphere here with the drinks flowing, the mud everywhere as usual. Really is, so chill down there. Bloody is such a great vibe, such a great Post-war years, they were fantastic on the stage, weren't they? Post-war years. Yeah, they were pretty good. Oh, they were they were good. Oh, I don't know what time they wanted until someone dragged me over there, but they were good. They were good. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait for the act. Come on, let's go. It's a re release of stress. Enjoy. It's been a great day. I think just seeing the band this evening will be really good because whether it's raining or not, it will be a great atmosphere. But at least the sun's coming out now. So, and he he had a good way with the crowd. So he really sort of brought us into the act, I think, yeah. That's what you want with any artist. I'm here with Simon and Tom from post-war years. How are we guys? Very well. We're very, very well. We're, uh, yeah, we're in the, as I said earlier, we're in the, we're in the sort of post, post gig uh, slump. Which is uh, yeah, you're just chilling with a beer, relaxing after your after your set. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. We had a um, a good time. The sun came out. Yeah, so it seemed like you were pretty well received by the crowd. Definitely yeah. I had loads it of cheers good, from yeah. back here. It was good. Yeah. So how does it feel coming back to Leming like close to Leamington Spa anyway? Because that's where the magical first started, right? Well, yeah, we grew up in uh, uh, Tom grew up in Kenilworth. I grew up in Warwick. Uh, Henry and Fred grew up in Leamington. So we're we yeah we're quite local. Um, but yeah, it feels good. It's not often we get back, we get we get to come back and, and see our parents and family and yeah, stuff. So that's that's quite nice as well. So uh, how long have you guys been together now, and how did it kind of band originally form? Well, it's been a really, really long and arduous time. It's like ten ten years. Is that right? That we've known each other anyway. I think Fred's two drums like eight years. We just. We were in different schools and we just kind of met each other through other people, ended up playing together and have just stuck with each other like a kind of dysfunctional family. So the post-war years are now our little family, that's yeah, well, that's key. Yeah, I guess like we, we, we have been going for like 10 years and we've only done, we've only released one album so far. Yeah. So it's uh, it's been a it's been a strange strange old journey because so you're working on your new EP right, which is Glass House. Is that a kind yeah. of change in sound? Would you say or sticking to your kind of original? No, original absolutely. Sound? Yeah, I mean it's it's sort of four years after the first record because uh, we we uh, we put our first record out ourselves. Um, it took us ages to record it, and then we it took a little bit of time for us to like sign a deal, and get it get it sort of ready to go you know and uh, and uh, yeah I think we we wanted to do something slightly different and, and sort of really yeah change it up and, and yeah it's really exciting. So, do you have any advice for other kind of like students or lo local like people wanting to start a band? What's your words of wisdom? <laughs> like you hand that straight over to me so. Is he the wise one? Is that what, is that, what that was? Yeah, very wise, very wise. I don't know it's really tough out there that's the biggest thing I just think the 
the biggest thing is just to, to carry on and just, just, if, I mean, if you enjoy it, you should just carry on doing it. And I think a lot of people are kind of scared of not, not having any money and not, and not having any kind of security or anything. I think that, that's a shame. Like, I think people should do, do good things. Yeah, so people should sort of yeah. push through that part of having no money and eventually you'll get where you want to, you, you think? Yeah, I mean, there. it depends. I mean, it depends. I think we're just... Uh, I think you're, you you sort of grow into a person and, uh, that, that sort of thrives on making stuff, you know? And, like, you kind of... Basically, you, you exist to, to create something. And uh, whether that's, like, music or art or, you know, uh, literature, whatever you're creating, I don't know, like... So what part of being in a band do you think you enjoy the most? Is it the touring? Is it the songwriting? Is it the performing at like, occasions like this? What would you say is your, your personal favourite? I'd probably say that, that whatever it is we're doing at the particular time, we, we probably hate it and complain about it. And you always, basically, when you're recording, you're like, you just want to get out on the road. When yeah. we help. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah it's, it's quite a... Yeah, they're completely different things, and it's like you know, writing stuff is a is a slow, torturous, lonely experience, and then <laughs> and then playing to loads of people, to loads of students in a sunny field, you know, uh, is a is a really sort of romantic and celebratory moment. So it's kind of com two completely different things, and I think there's no, you know, there's there's benefits to both of them. So you think it's kind of got its ups and downs like throughout the whole experience? Yeah, yeah. it's great, man. All of it's great. It's not it's not like you know. If you enjoy making stuff, you enjoy going out with your friends, travelling, like, yeah, it's great. So you've been together 10 years now, you said, so where do you want to be in five years from now? What is the what is the ultimate goal for you guys? I think, um, uh, I have no idea. I mean, we, do, we just want to make another record, you know. I, hopefully we'll be doing a third record, um, coming off the back of that, and maybe making a fourth one, you know. I just want to continue. continue it. My last question, because it's been bugging me this whole interview. So you're called Post War Years, of mm. course. But what war did you have in mind, and why you called this? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it has very little sort of relevance to uh, to the project. Really, it's just a uh, as I say, we've been going for for, for, for that many years, uh, and ten years ago, I think we just thought it was a it was a good it was a good it, we we thought it was a nice positive three quirky words and you just th pluck them out. Yeah. I think I think we thought that it was a, a really positive um, period of time. You know, and, Sort of, obviously, a recovery period and like a, a sort of. Um, I, I think I think it's just a you know now we kind of I'm I'm a bit annoyed that I'm in a band that has the word war in it but you know I mean it's just you name a band you christen it something and it has to be has to remain. War doesn't go with this like this interview. You guys are like the most chilled out people I think I've met today. So. We do like we are quite violent usually. Yeah. Are you violent really? Yeah, we are on tour and violent. secret very violent. Yeah. Well, thank you for taking time out no of worries. today, and thank you very much for your interview. Good luck with your new EP. No, thanks very much. Check them out. Post-war years. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we're post-war years, and you're watching Warwick TV.